So now we're at the time for the second part of the feedback. So Reese, you're going to be feeding back to your client Jack. You and you're feeding back to your client Harry. Ben, you're feeding back to your client Morgan. And Tom, you're feeding back to your client Will. So now it's a contrasting individual. So obviously we know that the data is different to what you collected yesterday. I will observe you giving your feedback to your client and then I will issue my feedback for you on P4.2, M2.2 and D1.2 from Unit 7 Fitness Testing. Off you go guys. You're all done, guys? Tom, are you done? Okay, so, Yain, you've done it for your contrasting client. So, this one was more of normative data. Yesterday, you had people with low blood pressure and low peak flow scores. Key thing to remember is, for the criteria, you did have to still improve future performance, which is why I asked that question about how can you improve their performance, but then I heard you start talking about programming to improve, sorry, aerobic programming to improve the performance of a lot of those scores, so well done. Tom, excellent feedback. What was your contrasting client though today? Um, you don't need to say it out, I'll read it off of the sheets. So normalised blood pressure, whereas yesterday it was low, peak flow was fine, so it was just those two scores there. I think you should communicate well to the client. What I was particularly impressed with is the, the tone in your voices. Sometimes when you're communicating in health assessments, usually it will do it in a room where it's just you and the client by yourself. So in front of all of the other students, shouting out some of the scores is probably not appropriate. So well done for the way you dealt with that. Um, ben, let's have a quick look at your data down there. So you had a client with low blood pressure today, but with excellent scores all around the board and the other ones, and with cognitive and normal weight. finish this at the end guys, remember to destroy all of this information. So you've got somebody with a low score there, pretty much optimal there, slightly high there, uh, fine there, a little bit low there, and that one was just a little bit inconsistent readings on there, so you've definitely got them. Um, guys, how would you, if I said to you, for you to think back about improving your own performance, can you each just spend the next 10 seconds thinking about one or two things that you could change? to make your performance better on either collecting the information or reviewing the information. Think back to lesson one this morning uh, about the skills that we said are required to carry out these jobs or to carry out some of these procedures. Have a little think. Ben, have you got anything? Uh, I think when I was just uh, saying what we were doing, I think I could have been a bit clearer and maybe given a bit of a demo. Like the height oh, so like explaining the procedure yeah. sort of thing. Okay, that's absolutely fine. It's good to have areas of improvement. We all have them. Tom, any for you? Um, I should have explained more in detail, like what each each piece of equipment did and what it could test. Okay, yeah, that's another one. Yai, for yourself? I probably could have reviewed it in a more better manner. Okay, so certainly if you all want to think the areas that, or how for the client can improve performance, even if they've got good scores. And Reese, for yourself? Uh, just knowing the normative data. 
Yeah, and you can always put that normative data into a pack, like we discussed in lesson one this morning. Okay, guys, so Ben, Reese, Yian, and Tom, you've now fully achieved that assessment method. So that's P3 fully complete, P4 fully complete, M2 fully complete, and D1 fully complete for fitness testing. And I'll upload that for you to the relative assignment. My feedback is in the videos as well. So there'll be links to all of the folders for you in the Google Drive. Okay? Well done, guys.